in this video i will show you that how you can choose oco order on bitget exchange basically oco order is the combination of the limit order and stop limit order which we can say on bitget it is a trigger order so i will show you that how you can use oco order for the sell purpose and for the buy purpose on bitget exchange so let's come on the bitget application so here you can see i have opened bitget application on my cell phone if you want to learn that how you can do trading using the cell phone please subscribe this channel and watch other videos also so let's come on the market so i want to place oco order on the back coin i have come on the back click on the trade so currently we are on the buy order now here you have to select the oco now like currently i will show you that how you can use oco order for the buy purpose so i have already told you that oc order is the combination of the limit order and trigger order or you can say the limit order and stop limit order so here you have to set the limit order now for example i want to buy big coin when big price reaches on 0.300 because i want to buy in a good price but it is also possible that this coin price becomes down but it is also possible according to support and resistance I think if this coin price reaches on 0.4400, then there will be a good pump in this coin. So I want to place an order that if this coin further increase, then buy back coin because I think there will be a good pump. So in this way, you have to create a strategy first. Now what happened? Now here we have placed two orders, a limit order and trigger order. So first you can see if the price of this coin drops, it will be purchased on 0.3000. And also here you can see a trigger order that if the coin price suddenly pump and reaches on 0.44 and further it is also increasing, then our order will be placed on 0.4500. Click on buyback. So here you can see a pending order has been placed that a limit order 0 0.3000 and the trigger price is 0 0.4400 and the order price is 0 0.4500. Let me explain that how it will work. So there are basically two orders in one order. If the coin suddenly drops and reaches at 0 0.3000, an order will be placed to buy back coin. But suddenly if the price increase, it reached on 0 0.4400, then an order will be placed to buy back coin on 0 0.4500. So I hope you understand that how you can use OC order for the buy purpose. Now let me show you that how you can use OC order for the sell purpose. Come on the sell, limit order. Now again, let me remind you that OC order is the combination of the limit order and trigger order. Now I want to sell this coin on $1 or whatever you price set here. When this coin reaches on $1, then sell all my back. All right. Similarly, but what happened if suddenly coin price drop? Now here you have to set the trigger price. Let's say if this coin price suddenly drop. So in this way, you have to create the strategy. Now I want to set my strategy here that if this price suddenly drop to 3.00, you can set whatever price you want to set here. Then sell all my back if this coin further decrease now here you can see we have placed an order that if this coin price reaches on one dollar that sell all my bag and i will be at a good profit but there are also probability that if suddenly coin price decrease then an order will be activated on 0 0.3200 and your order will be placed all your bag will be sell on 0 0.3100 and here you have to play the sell back clearly i don't have any spec you have to just press the sell back and your order will be placed. So I hope you understand that how you can use OC order for the buy purpose and sell purpose on BitKid Exchange. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.